black choker uh, necklace and I'm going to make it with, I have a few items here that you're going to need to make this choker. So I'm using um, a black wool and this, I'm actually using wool, but this is the same thickness as embroidery thread. So if you want to use embroidery thread, you can. I'm using uh, wool because it's just easier to work with and it's a very fine wool. I'm using a three millimeter hook. Uh, obviously you're gonna need a pair of scissors. And I am using a needle. Now, you can use a darning needle. I'm using this needle because it's got quite a large eye in it. And then whatever beads that you want to use. Um, and just for your uh, the back of the choker to keep it on, I have this little um, fastener. Um, but you can use any that you like. So what you need to do to start off is you need to thread your wool. And you need to put on as many beads as you're going to have in your project. So I'm not really quite sure how many I'm going to put on. So I'm just, I'm just going to thread them all on. So you do this before you start. So I have put my beads on to the wool. And you just take your needle off. And that's that part done. And next what you're going to do is you're going to do a slip stitch like this. Now I'm going to push those beads down because I'm going to be using them later. And you're going to be doing a multiple of five. So what you need to do is you need to measure around your neck um, at how, you know, how long the chain needs to be. And you just need it to fit comfortably around your neck like a choker, no, no longer or shorter. So for my neck, 75 with a three millimeter hook fits around my neck. So just chain 75 chains, 3, 4, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. That is the length my choker is going to be, and that fits around my neck. And just do one stitch um, extra, and that's just to keep your 75 stitches. So your first row is single crochet, skip the first stitch, the extra stitch, and into the next stitch, you are going to do one single crochet. And you do that right the way across your 75 chain. And I will meet you back at the end. Um, and we will show and we will go on to do the next row. So I've come to the end of the first row. I'm coming to the end of the first row of single crochet. And uh, this will be the top of your uh, choker last stitch and so you will have what looks like a black ribbon okay now you can make this as thick as you like I'm leaving it like that and then turn your work and this is when we're going to start doing the um, detail of the choker so <clears throat> I'm not going to put a bead on the first couple of um, what will we call them first couple of V shapes um, because I just don't have enough beads, but you can if you want to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain four. And just for the first few um, V shapes, uh, I'm just going to do this. This is going to be slightly different from when we're putting the beads on. Chain four and then just hold your thumb where that is to, just to keep where you are. Chain an extra three and then slip stitch back into the first of that three. So it'd be chain number five, you're slip stitching back into. And then chain another four. One, two, three, and four. And then along your ribbon, you're going to count one, which your chain comes out of, two, three, four, and into the fifth one, you're going to slip stitch. Okay. And that is going to be your first V on your choker. If you can see that. Okay, and I'm just going to do that a second time and then we'll start putting the beads on. So for the second one, chain one, two, three, and four. And then an extra three. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the fifth chain from the start. Like so. 
and then chain one, two, three, and four. And again, you're going to skip five. So one, two, three, four. You're going to skip four and slip stitch into the fifth uh, stitch, like so. And you now have two. Now, when you steam this, they will flatten out to be a better shape. But you can see the, the shape that they kind of are. So now I'm going to put the beads on. And what the beads are going to do is they're going to put a bit of weight onto the end of the choker so it'll sit better. So chain your four. One, two, three and four and you're going to slip one of your beads right back up the wool right up to your hook and just chain one across the bead like that and then chain two three and four and you're going to do exactly the same you're going to skip four stitches one two three and four and slip stitch into the fifth stitch along like so and you now have your bead which is hard to see there I think a bead at the end of your um, your chain and again you're just going to repeat this pattern so chain four one two three and four and slip your bead up into position and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to count four. One, two, three, four, and slip stitch into the fifth chain. And you basically repeat that the whole way across until you get right back. And um, when you've done, when we, we've done that. Uh, I come back and I'll show you how to put the end on to fasten your choker. Okay, see you in a minute. Coming. Um, so I'm coming near the end of uh, putting the beads on and as you can see it looks kind of nice. Um, and I'm just nearing the end of the top of the choker. Uh, one, two, three, four, slip stitch. And I just have one left. So chaining four, four and beads um, one two three and four and slip stitching into the last stitch now if you have to have 78 or 69 or whatever width your neck is um, your last one doesn't necessarily have to be five stitches you can slip skip as many stitches as is necessary because that's going to be at the back of your neck anyway so you're not going to see it that well um so i've slip stitched and just at the end of this project um i'm going to chain one cut the thread like that and pull that through and that kind of um makes that good and secure and your choker should look like that now when you steam this you can put it into shape and if you want to um you can use starch to make it harder so you just spray starch on it, let it dry, and it hardens your choker up a little bit. Um, but I find when you steam it, it'll go into shape automatically. And then the last thing that you're going to want to do is sew one of these onto each end. And you can use this thread here and this thread here, and then your project definitely won't unravel. And you sew that on, and then obviously that hooks in there. And you have... The perfect choker. Very simple and very quick to do.